Are you ready for a riddle? What small has six legs, comes in 350,000 different species, and has been around for millions of years? The beetle. That's right. From the shiny June bug to the mighty stag beetles, these little creatures come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. We're about to explore a world where tiny creatures can lift a hundred times their own weight, disguise themselves as other insects, and even light up the night. Beetles do all this and more. They've been a part of Earth's changing ecosystem for a long time. So let's meet some of these small but mighty creatures. Want a souvenir of our journey? Check out our fact-filled activity sheets for sale now in the Socratica Foundation store. Find the links below. Beetles are insects. So just like all other insects, beetles have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head is where they have their brain and mouth parts. The thorax supports six legs and is also where you'll find their wings. Yes, beetles have wings. They actually have two sets of wings, making four in total. The first set of wings are hard protective covers known as elytra, which act like a shield for their back. Then they have more delicate wings folded beneath. The second set of wings under the elytra are softer and more flexible and are used for flying. Beetles also have antenna, which they use to smell and feel their way around, and compound eyes that give them a wide field of vision. Their bodies sit inside a tough exoskeleton which is basically a skeleton on the outside of their bodies that gives both support and protection. While beetles share all those qualities with insects, here's something that makes them a little different, their mouths. Think of beetles as the ultimate eaters in the insect world because their mouth parts are custom made for their favorite meals. Some beetles have jaws shaped like pinchers, perfect for snipping leaves or flowers. Then there are the meat eaters, which have strong knife-like jaws, which are used to catch other unlucky bugs. And let's not forget the beetles who love a good drink. They have mouth parts that work like a straw, allowing them to sip on the sap from trees or the nectar from flowers. It's like each beetle has its own set of eating tools so they can slice, drink, cut, or catch depending on their diet. There are so many different kinds of beetles. In fact, there are more kinds of beetles than any other type of insect or animal on the planet. We're talking over 350,000 different species that scientists have discovered so far, and they keep finding more. Most beetles might not catch your eye at first glance because they are small and often have a brown or black color. And some beetles are known for their camouflage, which allows them to blend into their environment and not be seen. But while some beetles are as tiny as a grain of sand, others can be as big as your hand. Those ones are hard to miss. Want to remember the special colors of beetles? Get out your colored pencils and markers and capture different beetles in our coloring pages. Follow the links below for our activity pages that keep the smart fun going after the video. But we're not finished yet. Now it's time to learn some more about beetles. Now that you know a little something about all beetles, let's get to know 10 beetles that really stand out. First up, we have the scarab beetle, which actually isn't one beetle at all. It's a whole family of beetles called Scarabiidae, which includes around 35,000 species. These beetles were sacred in ancient Egypt. They were seen as a symbol for rebirth and the afterlife. Scarabs vary a lot in size and color, with some that have stunning metallic colors. They're especially famous for the way some species, like the dung beetle, roll up balls of dung to use as food or nesting chambers. Speaking of the dung beetle, these beetles are nature's recyclers. They can bury dung 250 times their own mass in one night, which is actually very good for the soil. Interestingly, dung beetles use the Milky Way for navigation, and they are the only known insect to do so. Their lifestyle not only keeps the environment clean, but also reduces greenhouse gas emissions from dung piles. Who would have thought a beetle could be so helpful? Now on to a more vibrant looking beetle. 
Ladybugs are beloved for their bright colors and spots. There are about 5,000 different species of ladybugs around the world. They're fierce predators in our gardens, feasting on aphids and other pest insects, making them really helpful to farmers and gardeners. While we might think ladybugs are really cute because of their pretty coat, it's actually a signal to other animals not to eat them. The bright colors of ladybugs tell predators they are not delicious and should not be eaten. If predators do eat a ladybug, it will usually make them sick, not to mention they taste terrible. While we're on the subject of beetles you probably shouldn't eat, here's another one. Have you ever heard of the bombardier beetle? This incredible insect has a unique way of protecting itself. When threatened, it shoots out a boiling chemical spray from its abdomen that scares predators like birds and frogs away. There is a chemical reaction that happens inside their bodies, and this reaction is so violent it creates a popping sound, truly making the bombardier beetle one of nature's most impressive chemists. But not all beetles need spray to protect themselves. Some have antlers. Well, almost. Stag beetles are known for their antler-like jaws, which males use to battle rivals and attract mates. Stag beetles are one of the largest beetles in the world, with some species growing up to almost five inches long. Yikes! Stag beetles spend most of their life underground as larvae, sometimes up to seven years before emerging as adults for a few brief months to mate. Not all beetles live underground, though. Take the Death Watch beetle, for example. The Death Watch beetle got its ominous name from the tapping sound it makes, which was once superstitiously believed to predict death. This sound is actually a mating call that the beetle makes by tapping its head against wood surfaces. You can recognize a Death Watch beetle by their speckled brown appearance. These beetles are known for infesting old furniture and wood structures, where the larvae feed on the wood, sometimes causing significant damage over time. Now, here's a beetle you can't miss. June bugs, or June beetles, got their name because they are most active around early summer. June. They are recognized by their shiny green or brown shells, which can look almost metallic. These beetles are attracted to light, often seen buzzing around lamps and windows at night. June bug larvae, known as grubs, live underground and feed on roots, sometimes damaging lawns and gardens. Remember how we talked about scarabs earlier? A June bug is actually a type of scarab beetle. June bugs are usually around an inch long, but some beetles can get really, really big. The giant longhorn beetle is a giant among beetles and can grow up to six inches in length. Not only do these beetles have giant bodies, but they also have extremely long antenna. Their antenna can actually be even longer than their bodies. Even though these beetles are big, not a lot is known about the giant longhorn beetle's life cycle and habits. This is because it lives in some of the most remote parts of South American rainforests and can be hard to find. While the giant longhorn beetle stands out for its size, other beetles stand out for their snouts? Weevils are easily recognized by their long snouts, which they use to make tunnels to lay their eggs inside of. There are over approximately 97,000 different species of weevils, making them one of the largest groups of beetles. Interestingly, when weevils feel threatened, they will play dead. Turns out it's not just dogs who can do this. Weevils are often considered pests in agriculture, but their unique shape and varied lifestyles make them a fascinating subject for study. Lastly, we have the firefly. Fireflies, or lightning bugs, bring magic to warm summer nights with their glowing bodies. This light is produced through a chemical reaction in their abdomens, in a process called bioluminescence. Fireflies use their glow for communication and attracting mates. There are over 2,000 species of fireflies, and their lights can flash in patterns that are specific to each species. 
Sadly, firefly populations are declining worldwide due to habitat loss and pollution, making their magical presence more and more rare. Let's protect our beautiful beetle friends. Of all the beetles we discussed today, which one was your favorite? Was it the mighty bombardier beetle or the ladybug? And just think about how many beetle species we didn't get to cover today. Each species with its unique characteristics plays a role in the environment, whether by recycling nutrients controlling pests, or simply adding beauty to our world. Now it's time to watch another great video from Socratica Kids. You get to pick. And don't forget to check out our coloring pages and activity sheets made just for you, linked below. Did you know that these videos are made possible by our donors? The Socratica Foundation is committed to making free educational resources for kids. Donate today.